We're going to make a simple hook. One that won't come undone once you clip it on. Now, this will take a 50 millimeter long piece. And what you want is a slightly bigger wire than the wire that's used for the chain that this hook is for. This hook is for a one millimeter wire chain and it's 1.5 in diameter. So a 50 millimeter long piece. You can cut it with your side cutters. File the ends flat. Number two cut flat hand file. Brace it against your bench peg. Both ends. Now the loop in the end of this only needs to be bigger than the chain that you're putting it on. So it can be quite a small loop. I'll zoom in so you can see. So what we're going to do is grab the end of this wire, leave the wire sticking slightly past the round part. These are flat round pliers. And we're going to curl that tightly against our finger so that we make a nice tight loop. And you're actually going to push it past itself so that when we bring that back it'll be touching this piece. Yep. Take your parallel jaw pliers and bring that just back so that it's in the middle of the wire and touching. So now we'll solder that hard solder We flex the join, just a small amount of flex right on the join, and we put one piece of hard solder on the join placed with the flex brush, and that way it will be flexed because both the solder and the piece need flux on it. And now we just light our mini torch. Quarter of a turn on the gas nozzle. Gas is red. 100 mil long flame. Oxygen just until the flame goes blue. We want the orange flame to go out. And we're going to gently heat this Just on and off until the flux dries out, we can push our solder piece so that it's touching the join. And then we'll put the flame 50 mil away, just right on the join. Solder will flow, take the flame away, shut it off. Oxygen first. That's the green, and then the red, gently. Take your tweezers, quench this in water, and then pickle it. So once this is pickled, take a bench block or an anvil that's highly polished. Take a hammer that's highly polished, because when you hammer on this piece, it'll leave a mark and the mark that it will leave will be a highly polished mark if your hammer is polished. If you have a really rough hammer then you'll have a really rough mark that you'll have to polish off. So now you're just going to hold the loop straight up and down. It doesn't matter whether it's up or down. Hold it in your fingers and hammer the full length to half its thickness. Oh.
all the way. When you've finished, take your sanding stick and tidy up this end because it'll be slightly rough from you hammering it. That's all it needs. Now, when it's flat, we're going to hallmark it. And I'm going to loop this up over the back, so I'll put my hallmark on the outside. The middle. And my name on this one. So that's marked. Take your flat round pliers, put the loop down, okay the loop is down, we're in the middle and I actually want a fairly big loop so I'll come up to the wider part of the round bit and then we're just going to push that up and over. Now to make this so that it won't come undone, push it slightly past, like that, and then when we bring it back with our fingers, it'll actually be touching. So now Back in with your flat round pliers, grab the very end and you're just going to put a little bit of a bend up so that when you go to clip it on your jump ring, it, the jump ring will fit under there quite easily. Done.